Well, everybody's asking, where is Mercy? I mean, <laughs> are you going to tell us? Um, I'm sure she's at, she's at her place. You know, she's at her place today. I'm at mine. I'll probably, probably see her tomorrow. Okay, so we've seen a little bit of the show, and um, I like it. Wow. So what was it about Mercy that made you say, wow, she's worth it? I mean, obviously, other than the fact that she's really beautiful and the things that we've seen, what, what was it that made you say, I can be in a relationship with this person after you hadn't been in a relationship for a very long time? Oh, man, it was difficult. I won't lie. At first, I was fighting. Like, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. I'm like, no, no, no. He can't know. Yeah, you know, here for the money. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Guys, like I said, all your questions and concerns can actually be sent. Hi! Hi, EK. Um, all your questions and concerns can actually be sent uh, via DM to VBank NG. Um, EK is coming on in three, two... <sighs> Hi! Yo, yo, yo! <laughs> Don't say you've been trying to resend a request since you are late and your, your <laughs> trivia question is going is to be a difficult one for that. I owe you. Please, uh, I was trying to rush to get home and beat this curfew. So that's, that was my issue. That was my issue. Oh, I'm so sorry. Did you make it home in time? I'm basically here. I'm basically here, but I'm still in the car. So uh, <laughs> I made the start. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> I said I didn't send a request. I I didn't send them. Send them. You know. You know one thing. I beg. We didn't see the. We didn't see the request. Or we know see them. Um. Okay. So are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. So I'm just gonna start from the basics. A lot of people know you from Big Brother Niger. Um. And we know that you're doing a lot of stuff now. But we want to go back to your vision. Oh my God! I just saw Diane. Anyway. And we want to go back to your vision. <laughs> we want to go back to your vision um, when you were entering the house. Can you tell us what your overall goal was for entering the Big Brother house? Um, definitely, I came to Big Brother for, for, for the money. You know what I mean? Like, I heard about <laughs> Big Brother, and I was excited, but I never saw myself as, like, someone that's going to do a reality show. You know, I mm -hmm. think around that same time that they had the Big Brother uh, audition, they had one one audition for that show sugar mm. uh, uh, mtv uh, the sugar show so i was actually more interested in that audition but ah. know, I, I, I was trying to pursue acting and uh you know modeling but you know when i heard about that 45 million naira prize last year, <laughs> that was last year 45 last year i said no i have to i have to i have to take my shot i have to shoot my shot so basically it was about the money Definitely, because I, I really didn't, I didn't know how big the show really was, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize how big it was. I just knew how big that prize was, and I was like, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't blame you. I can't blame you. A lot of people, um, a lot of people really, really, really try to get um, into the house. Now, when you did enter the house, though, can you tell us if your circumstances and if that plan to get the money changed? Because we know a lot of things happened. You fell in love. <laughs> yeah, and now yeah. you have a reality show with the love of your life so um definitely how does that change things for you the overall goal um i mean these things changed a, quite a bit you know after being in the house a few weeks like i was still focused but my focus kind of shifted from you know just me and the money to <laughs> me mercy and the money you know and oh. uh, you know like i like i said i came out the house you know, I, I, I tried my strategy. It didn't really work. I didn't win. I came out. I was a little bit, I was a little bit down that I didn't get the money. Mm -hmm. But, you know, mm -hmm. when Mercy won, when Mercy won, I'm like, okay, you know, and uh, I got a relationship out of it. So at the end, it was a win-win. It was a win-win because you've been able to push yourself a lot outside of um, the Big Brother Niger house. How were you able to achieve this because a lot of people do come out of the house and people forget about them or not even that like they are just not interested in um, or able to push so how did you achieve all of this the comments are going crazy I'm, they're, they're, these comments one person are wrote ek looks like a, fo a footballer another person wrote ek and money five and six yes yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they are fun. you have some comedians in here tonight but what I said, you have some comedians in here tonight. 
Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. They're very okay. funny. But basically, I feel like, you know, trying to stay relevant or trying to, you know, push the brand, the only thing I did was I tried to tailor everything to me. I tried to be authentic to who I am. But mm-hmm. at the same time, you know, I really tried to pay attention to what, what the audience was interested in. And, you know, mm-hmm. I didn't see myself doing a reality show, like I said, last year. But after being in Big Brother and coming out and seeing the reactions, I was like, hmm. And then watching myself back on, you know, watching myself on the old videos and stuff in the house, I was like, oh, no, definitely. That's 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 reality show, reality star, uh, reality show material. Okay, they are calling you Ico M, Ike Ego over here. Ike the money man. Now, can you tell and us I- a little bit? <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about some of the stuff that you've gone to do after the show? So other than the reality show, you have a clothing line. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have the ice cream collection. You know, it started based on, you know, some some trends that happened, you know, when we we're inside the Big Brother house. And it came, I came out and uh, it started as just like apparel, you know, just mm-hmm. like for, for fans that, you know, love me, that want to support me, you know, get your hoodie. And then it became like I saw the type of fans that were buying it, and the kind mm-hmm. of request, you know, people started requesting for certain looks and different things. I'm like, hmm. So that's when we started just designing some more clothing, some more crop tops, t-shirts, mm-hmm. and just made it into an actual, a proper clothing brand. You know, got mm-hmm. the website set up, and um, I, when I came out of the house before the endorsements, like the clothing brand mm-hmm. was really was really feeding me. You know, the clothing brand was really something. I had never, I've done a lot of businesses, India. I've done a lot, but I've never, never sold clothes before, you know? Wow. I've modeled clothes, but I've never, you know what I mean? I've never tried to produce and, and, and advertise my own brand and sell it like that. So to see the money that came in from that, I was like, wow, okay, I need to sit down and focus. Please, if you need female models. Oh, you, that, that, time, that time I called you for modeling. That time I called you for modeling. No, oh no, my no, god, no, you didn't call me for modeling. You told me that Anthony Joshua guys, I'm going no, to out no, no, EK. No, no. Should not I out EK? Should I disgrace EK for you guys? Not that time, not that time. Should I disgrace EK for you guys? So okay, EK, tell <laughs> EK tell told them. me to come out that Anthony Joshua <laughs> Back in the good old days when we could go out. The good old days, yeah. It feels like such a long time now. And it, that was all this year. Um, yeah, but can you tell us about some other stuff that you're working on? So, the reality show and a clothing line, what else? Are Diana, you actually going Diana to saying, yes, officially him. act? What? I said Diane is saying yes, disgrace him. <laughs> He's commented, I don't understand. Well, everybody's asking where is Mercy? I mean, <laughs> are you going to tell us? Um, I'm sure she's at, she's at her place. You know, she's at her place today. I'm at mine. I'll probably probably see her tomorrow. Okay, so we've seen a little bit of the show, and um, I like it. Wow! Very interesting. (laughs) But from from some of the bits that I saw, um, it almost seemed like even though you found the love of your life, you're a bit of a ladies' man slash player. Would you describe yourself as a player? Never. When? How? (laughs) <laughs> you know, I feel like I feel like um, I want to say I'm a player. What did you say? I'm a player. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a player, but it's like um, before the Big Brother house, I hadn't been in a relationship for like almost two years, you know, or at least. Oh wow! Yeah, it had been a while since I've been in a real relationship. So it's just that I was very used to the single life. You know, I started getting a lot of female friends. And the truth is, you know, being a model and then also I even see trying to be an actor, it's, mm-hmm. it's a lot of times my female friends that hook me up with a modeling job or acting mm-hmm. and, get, and tell me about an audition while my guy friends just want to go out or, you know, you know, chill. So I just gradually, you know, started having more and more female friends, especially from work and trying to, you know, go out to these auditions and stuff. And uh, that's just how it happened. Um I, I don't know any lady that can say she's had me in Nigeria, like, you know, but say player. Wow. Say other, than, other, just... than, other than Mercy, I don't know right now. I don't know right now who can Okay, so that. so what was it about Mercy that made you say, wow, she's worth it? I mean, obviously, other than the fact that she's really beautiful and the things that we've seen, what, what was it that made you say, 
I can be in a relationship with this person after you hadn't been in a relationship for a very long time? Oh, man, it was difficult. I won't lie. At first, I was fighting. Like, I was fighting it. I was fighting it. I'm like, no, no, no. He can't know. Yeah, here for the money. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. But uh, she was just, she was just different. And she definitely wasn't, she wasn't what I was used to. Like, though she has a lot of qualities of some girls I've dated, she was, like, uh, very humble, very, like, generous, very kind. and, Mm -hmm. uh, And it was just different. It was different. It was it was something that really attracted me. And then obviously, she just she just she will just <laughs> she makes she makes it very very hard not to notice her. You know what I'm saying? Once she walk in the room, she just start teasing you, start doing the most. You know what I mean? So yeah. really, it was it was. There's a lot of things. Honestly, there's a lot of things. Too much. Okay. Okay. Well, that's sweet. I hope Mercy uh, hears. Um, but so. Speaking of qualities, we did mention her qualities, but you have been able to build a very strong and loyal fan base since you came out of the house. Why do you think that is? Oh, man. Um, honestly, I feel like, I feel like, um, I don't know, the real thing, <laughs> you know, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really pretend too much. I do love to entertain. And then mm-hmm. at the same time, uh, I'm not always, uh, I'm not always too, you know, some people are really reserved. Me, I feel like mm-hmm. I'm an open book sometimes. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. people love that side. They love to just know that I'm going to give it to you, the real, tell you what's going yeah. on, you know what I mean? And, and and really let you in. So I feel like that's what has brought some of the Big Brother fans closer to me and, and, and kept them for so long. And mm-hmm. in fact, that it's like every month, every week, every day, I'm looking for like what's next, you know? Not as far as just being relevant, but as far as like just increasing and, and expanding the empire. You know, what can I do mm-hmm. to, you know, increase the EK brand, you know, better mm-hmm. myself. And, and I think people have been seeing that growth. Yeah, and I can actually see people writing that, that you know, we love EK because he's real. He's a real one. Yes, EK really? gang, they're loyal that and is. strong. <laughs> right. Okay. But now I want to know what you've been up to um, since Corona it's um nigeria like how have you been coping via the lockdown are you jumping on any of the challenges tiktok anything that people are doing like what have you been doing to keep sane and keep busy oh man i mean you know definitely tiktok tiktok as much as i was like uh <laughs> i slow started on it tiktok is starting mm-hmm. to take over now tiktok is taking over like as far as uh you know when you're at home bored chilling as far as uh, you, you know when you're at home bored chilling you can just do a tiktok real quick and just laugh you know, yeah, and I, I love to laugh. So TikTok is definitely there. Uh, I've been trying to do more uh, influencing. You know what I mean? At least work mm-hmm. from home. Try and get you know some of these companies that are selling masks or selling things that people need right now in this in this uh, this time. Mm-hmm. Just trying to uh, influence for them a little bit and uh, and uh, focus on making some. You see the little videos I make for Remy sometimes or for uh, this mask healing hands NG. Mm-hmm. You know, so just trying to promote and, and keep you know, keep the work, you know, keep the work going, keep things flowing. I know we're at home, we're stuck, people are bored, but it's just like, I I always want to, you know, at least do something productive every day. Okay. Well, somebody said um, that they love you because you're very strong and hardworking. Another person said that um, in case TikTok is not regular, but I'll come come back to that in a second. And another person (laughs) said, first, another person said, when are you getting married? Do you have an answer for us? See, you're skipping all the questions that are about Edia. Look at Edia's smile. Edia, who, who does your makeup? Edia, look. I, I, I can't, I, I'm sorry. I must have missed them. Okay. <laughs> when are you getting married? Don't um, change the um, subject. Um, you know, that's just, that's the one that's like, God, that's just a, that's a, a skip. Can we pass? Okay, you know, okay. So at least we know it's not going to happen. Like, I'll be like, I feel like I'll know, honestly, I feel like I'll know when the time is right. And yeah. then um, I do feel like I don't want to put a date on it. And mm-hmm. now we have this show going on. You know what I mean? I want it to be a surprise. When you guys see it, trust me, everyone will see it. 
In other words, you want to release it on your show and you don't want to give me the exclusive. I get it, EK. No, 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 you'll get, you know you'll After get coming it. late for my damn interview. <laughs> no, you know you'll definitely get the exclusive. You'll definitely get the exclusive. I would say, I would say uh, if, uh, if everything keeps going as planned, you know, wedding bells are definitely uh, on the way. Okay, okay. Well, everybody keeps writing about your TikTok. So can you tell me, what was the last TikTok video you made? Oh, my gosh. The thing is, What's funny is that I ha I can't even remember. I made like three today. I'm trying to see. <laughs> I'm trying to see. It. Let me go check TikTok right now. Okay. 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 The last TikTok I did was a little coronavirus TikTok. Oh I my like god! I, I did one with I did one with Diane. This one. Nice. Why are you yelling? Why are you, my nigga? Why are you yelling? Yeah. <laughs> I know that one. That will make me laugh for days. It's hilarious. Um, okay, so what advice? <laughs> what advice would you give? One more. Let me try okay, one yes. More this one is my one from today. I haven't dropped it yet. Well, thank you for yeah. showing me that. At least I got I got one thing before you posted it publicly. So I'll take yeah, that. Definitely. I'll take that. I'll manage that one. TikTok exclusive release. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so I want to know, like, what advice would you give to somebody who is trying to be in your shoes, like trying to follow the same path that you've gone on? Yeah, okay. Um, honestly, if I had to give someone advice that trying to, you know, come down this path, I would say, mm -hmm. I would say definitely, um, don't get complacent. Like, don't, um, you know, just be satisfied with where you are, you know, as much as everyone looks at me and like, I guess everyone's starting to look at me now the way I always felt like, I felt like I was going to be a success. I'm going to, you know, make it, I'm going to do my thing, but you know, I, I never, I never got comfortable every day. I'm like, no, how can I expand? What can I do more? Like, no, I need to, mm -hmm. I need to do something. Even if the money's not there, even if, you know, maybe I'm trying to do a shoot, the models aren't there, mm -hmm. you know, whatever's, whatever's happening in a situation, I try and make the best of it. That's another mm -hmm. thing. I try and make the best of the situation and make, make it, you know, make, make, make something out of nothing, you know? Amazing. And I feel like, I feel like also having a thick skin, because I already had a thick skin, but I had to develop a thicker skin here in Nigeria. If you want to come down this path of, of, of being public, oh, my God. You need to just develop a thick skin or get ready to cry every week. <laughs> <laughs> EK, so I wasn't going to ask you this, but now I'm going to ask because a lot of people have written it. So if your fans are writing it, then I have the right to ask you. Who's sitting beside you? They have to say hello to us. Okay, are you guys ready? You know, you know, um, you know I can I'm guess who, but show us. Okay, all right. If you, if you guess it, girl or guy, you have to guess if it's a girl or a guy. Girl, for sure. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This is uh, okay. one of my good friends, one of my first friends here in Nigeria, uh, supermodel Mike. Hey, hi, what's up? Hi, Mike. You to, no, you have to give them the facials, Mike. They gotta, they gotta know who they're talking to. You know the light. <laughs> it's not doing Mike. Hi, what's up? How you doing, Edia? Good, good, good. I'm good. Oh, he came up. Like, give us some show. You guys are not social distance, you know. Guys, can you see? <laughs> no, that's not no gloves, that. no mask, like, no nothing. Like, like, and you guys like, were like, teaching us to wash our hands. <laughs> and um. <laughs> he was actually with us that night, uh, the night of Anthony Joshua. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Anthony Joshua night. God, yeah. Is this your king? Ek told me to come out one night, right? And I, me, I love my sleep. And Ek told me that, oh, if you come out tonight, Anthony you Joshua's going to be out, blah, blah, blah. Let me tell you ladies something, eh? <laughs> if you're moving with Ek, don't stress yourself. Because I went and I wore my baddest waist trainer, my baddest dress. <laughs> 
one hour. No, don't do you tell me. Ike about was late. No, 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 no. I'm gonna start with you. Ike was late. Two hours. Ike was late. <laughs> Two hours, 30 minutes. Ike shows up and it's like, oh, Anthony's gonna be here soon. <laughs> I was like <laughs> three hours, waist trainer. Everything I couldn't breathe, right? I could not breathe. I never that's how I never met Anthony Joshua. I had <laughs> bragged to people that I was gonna meet Anthony Joshua that no, evening. No, just so you know. You all I, I, can I control Anthony Joshua? They put flyers. <laughs> oh please, <laughs> because you're foreign, Ike. I thought you could I could, I thought you could pull it. Now I now I don't know. <laughs> now I don't know. No, trust me, I still owe you. I still owe you. The next time we go out, trust me, it's gonna be crazy. I was so embarrassed. So I, that's how I carried myself after three hours with my waist trainer. And I just went to go and sleep. In fact, I couldn't even change. I was so tired. I just passed out. And Ike messaged me. And this is how I know Ike is a great guy. Ike messaged me the next morning. And he's like, I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. So because of that, I forgave you. Because you actually thought about messaging the next morning. But before that, no, I, I, like, ah! Do you even know? Do you know? I already told you that night that if Anthony Joshua came, hey the crowd was going to mob him. Do you know how many people came at me and was like, EK, we thought, as, uh, girls, EK, we said, you thought, we said, our, you said our husband is going to be in the club. You said our husband was going to be in the club. <laughs> Anyhow, at least you, you just, you know, you respected everything. You just, EK, I'm out of here. She took the champagne. She left. <laughs> EK, a lot of girls, a lot of girls came, but nobody wore that waist train that I wore. You guys should have seen Even it. It was dress. very embarrassing. I almost cried. But anyway, it's all good. I forgive you. Now, before I let you go, I have a quick tongue twister for you. And you have to say this five times without making a mistake. Are you ready? Okay. I can't see straight, so I'm staying steadily slow. I'm staying steadily... I can't strong. see straight, so I'm staying steadily slow. I can't see straight, so I'm staying steadily slow. I can't see straight, Don't, so I'm staying like steadily slow. Slow. Don't use oh, that to okay. confuse me. Say it okay. five times. <laughs> I, I can't see straight, so I'm... So, I can't see straight. That's why I'm steadily stoned. Not that's why. I can't see straight, so I'm staying, staying steadily slow. I can't see straight, so I'm staying steadily slow. I can't okay. see straight, so I'm staying steadily slow. I can't see straight, so I'm staying steadily slow. I'm, uh, I can't see straight, so I'm staying steadily slow. I, I can't see straight, so I'm staying steadily slow. I can't see straight, so I'm staying Try. steadily slow. I can't see straight, so I'm staying steadily slow. Okay, right? good, effort. good effort. Now, guys, should we give him our usual trivia? I'm going to write something backwards. And you have exactly 15 seconds to decipher what I've written. Are you ready? Okay. All right, all right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, me self, I'm writing it. Uh -huh. I'm trying to spell it backwards in my head. So you're going to have 15 seconds. If you don't get it right in 15 seconds, somebody from the audience can help you. And somebody from the audience can help you after 15 seconds. And if they do, they win. Um, what do they win? They win 5,000 Naira. Guys, okay, I know it's not much, but please help me, I beg. I I'm know, working guys, very hard for this morning. If you're interested in 5K Naira, drop money bag girl, so she can enter, she can add you to this live. Drop your money bags or get ready. Get ready, guys. I need help. I already know I need help. I'm looking at idiot's eyes. I know I need help on this question. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're going to try first. You have 15 seconds to try first. Okay. All right. Are I'm you ready. ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, so I'm about to post the the comment below and it's going to be pinned. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. So, if your fans write so in I, fast. I have to decipher what it says. Yeah. I see you guys with the money bags. Get ready. Whatever she pinned, we just decipher this thing quick. 15 seconds. We, there's money. Yes, so posted... And I'm trying to pin it. Ah, oh, your fans are faster. Pin comments. 15, 14, 13, 11, 12. Sorry, America, 10, brother. 9, 8, brother. America, 
Six. Five. America, brother. Brother America. Brother America. Brother America is right. Good, good, good. <laughs> Your fans you even got it before, way before you. you. Said, so I'm going to. All you that said American brother, you're wrong. It's brother America. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so the, I'm going to search for the first. I didn't want to come and say brother America. It's late, Diane. You, know, you should have dropped that. <laughs> Okay, EK, well, thank you so much for joining us this evening on the show. Um, I'm going to search for the first person that answered it because somebody um, put, put in their response before you said it. So I'm going to search for that person. And you guys, um, if you know the person, just send me a message and I will credit you. All right, all right, all right. No, I had so much fun. You know, I love B-Bank. Edia, you know, I always love talking to you. And likewise, really likewise. That's why when you were telling me you hope it's going to be fun, I was like, really, EK? No, not, not like that. Not like that. You know how you know how getting live now has turned yeah live, interviews turned into a, a job yeah, now. <laughs> yeah. 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 All right. No, thank you so no much. No problem. Anytime. Bye. 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 Okay, guys. So now, um, up next, we have Rick.